Hello, I'm Josh Odette from Roaring Penguin Technical Support. In this last video from the Recipient Verification Series, we'll see how to configure the final option, the Valid Recipients Table. Before watching this video, I hope you have already seen our first video in the series, which explains what recipient verification is, why it's important, and what choices we have to verify recipients. The Valid Recipients Table option is the least desirable of the available choices because it requires maintaining a list of valid recipients in Canon, while the other options use external sources of information. So you would not usually use the Valid Recipients Table until you have ruled out the possibility of using either LDAP, Active Directory, or Verification Server. This video applies to all Canet versions including Canet Pro and Canet Domain Pro on both hosted Canet or on-premises deployments. So, what is the Valid Recipients Table? It's exactly what it sounds like, which is a list, maintained in Canet, of all the valid recipient addresses for your domains. For this reason, the Valid Recipients Table is usually only feasible for small organizations whose list of recipients is short and doesn't change often. Once active, any email to addresses not on the list will be rejected. It's important to remember to include addresses to distribution lists, mailing lists, non-human robots, and others you can't put a face to. Having said that, the list can be maintained automatically by whatever external mechanism you might have, interfacing with our application programming interface, so you can use scripts or what have you to keep the list up to date. So in this case, maybe the caveat about small, relatively unchanging lists doesn't apply to you. So how do we use the table? First, let's go over it in point form, and then we'll jump to the web interface and watch an example of setting it up. There's two parts to it, the list itself, or list of valid recipient addresses, and then there's a switch to tell Canet that it should go ahead and reject any address not in the list. Note that the order of operations could be important. If you flip the switch first, and then it takes five minutes to make the list and paste it in, that's five minutes where you might end up rejecting some email that you shouldn't. This is a per stream setting. Normally, you put the list in the default stream and then it applies to everyone in your Realm or your Canet Pro system. There are a few use cases, such as one stream per domain, where it might make sense to use the table elsewhere than the default stream. So, here I am, logged into the web interface in my example-com realm. I'm going to set up the valid recipients table for my example.com domain. First, check in the upper right corner to make sure we're in the default stream. Next, we'll go to Rules, and then Valid Recipients. Now it's time to bring in the list. It's a good idea to use an export tool if you have one, rather than hand typing anything, to avoid the potential for typos. For example, this one here. Now we'll highlight, and then copy-paste the list into the table one address per line. Then we submit changes, make sure everything looks good, and it does. Now we need to flip the switch. Go to Preferences, and then Stream Settings, and scroll down until you find S700. Only accept mail for accounts in the valid recipients table. Switch that to Yes. Scroll to the bottom and submit changes. And it goes into effect immediately. Well, there you have it. Between this video and the others in the series, you should now have a full understanding of recipient verification and how to set up the method of your choice. Thank you for watching our videos. No penguins were harmed in the making of this video, but one was quite vociferous.